Oh yes boys, yes, we are fucking back again and we are doing Happy the Man, Stumpy meets the Firecracker in Stencil Forest, maybe, I'm not too sure, but there you go boys, too easy. Let's just jump straight into this reaction boys, I'm keen, I'm always keen, but this is actually a Patreon request as well. So thank you to Anonymous for your generosity and too easy, let's just jump into it boys, let's just fucking go. Wow! Yeah, it kind of reminds me of my Vishnu orchestra so far, maybe. Definitely got that jazz fusion feel. And... Enjoying the layered instrumentation. Yeah, definitely does the yeah. eye. Like this lead guitar as well. I like this drum beat in the back here. Quite a lot actually. Seems like there's a lot of maybe reverb to the right symbol, I'm not sure. It's definitely got this sort of echoey feeling to it. It's just grueling though in terms of the guitar and sax work. It's just everything really, but. When was this released by the way? This sounds like it might predate a lot of 70s prog even, I'm not sure. Sounds like it. Again, I really like this beat in the back here. I do like this melodic lead guitar. Quite a lot as well and how it keeps on coming back in. With these grueling solos and what have you. Oh, is that the song, boys? Fucking hell, that went by quick. That went by real quick, man. That was fucking... Yeah, real journey. That was fucking like a wet salmon, man. Kept on slipping away with its bloody 
nebulous time signatures and detail. Like, there was so much detail in pretty much every instrument here. There was no way I could keep up with the drum fills, for one thing. And even a lot of those sax motifs, they were so abstract. They were so hard to hold on to in terms of a melody. So yeah, the drumming in particular had a lot of personality. I liked the beat uh, through the middle of the song somewhere, but just in general, there was so much detail with the drumming. And also the production style of the drumming was interesting as well with what seems like some kind of reverb or delay just adding to the vibrancy of the end product of the song because it was definitely vibrant, it was definitely warm and lush, not unlike the album cover itself. The saxophone, I would argue, was maybe a little wayward with just uh, exactly what kind of scales it was playing and where it was going. I generally like my saxes to have contiguous pentatonic scales and what have you, but I still really did appreciate what this sax brought to the party because it was a party, wasn't it? It was like fucking raccoons on cocaine just gelling out having some jazz fusion fucking psychedelic trip. I will say that the melodic lead guitars were interesting as well but again not so contiguous. But yeah I really did enjoy this song. I liked the lead guitar quite a lot. I liked the drumming as well and just the feel of the song moreover with the vibrancy and just that lush jazz fusion fucking fusion I guess you could say. I'm never gonna complain about that and this was fascinating in so many ways you know I definitely think if I were to listen to this again, especially in the editing booth, that this would grow on me. Because when you're listening to this for the first time, you can get a bit caught up in all of the different fundamentals going on and everything else. But yeah, great song, too easy. I'll just catch you lads in the next one. My battery's gonna run out, so too easy. Just catch you later. Thanks again to the fucking Patreon request, and uh, yeah, too easy. Wow! Wow!